Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, we're kicking off a series where we're going to be taking a look at Onshape. Onshape is an online browser based design software that has built in tools for collaboration, cloud based data management and tracking, as well as a ton of really cool features that I've enjoyed using these past few weeks. So in the next few videos, we're going to be taking a look at some of the features, the benefits, the similarities to other design software, as well as tips, tricks, and tutorials along the way, including answering any questions that you may have as well. Before we jump in, I want to thank Onshape for sponsoring the channel and partnering with me on this series of videos. I think they're going to be a great fit, and I think you guys are going to really like what you see. I'm excited and I'm already hooked after using it. I'm looking forward to starting my next project in this software. So let's take a look and jump right into Onshape and see what it's all about. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, Onshape is an online browser-based design software. This means that all of our projects are saved and managed online in the cloud using Onshape's cloud servers. This means that all of our files are accessible, whether we're on our laptops, our phones, our tablets, as well as easily worked on by multiple people whether that's sharing the files between team members or working collaboratively on these same assemblies or parts, even allowing them to be worked on at the same time. This also means that we get to offload data storage and security onto Onshape and their servers. Their servers are storing and protecting all of your data, so you don't need to worry about losing hard drives, managing local networks or servers, and that can save us time and money in the long run, as well as just that flexibility, especially as we begin to work remotely, uh, this is going to make it a lot easier. I've already been using this software on multiple laptops and computers while I was at home or on the road for work, and I found it simple and easy to use, simply logging in. You can get started right away. You can open up a model almost instantaneously, no matter where you are, as long as you've got that internet connection. Now that could be a hang up or an issue if you don't have reliable internet connections or access to the internet. But for the most part, that's not going to be an issue for many of us as designers or remote workers. You're going to have that internet access as part of your daily setup. Another great benefit of having all of our data stored online in the cloud is that it's going to be able to track our revisions and history of all of our models and parts. This is gonna allow you to quickly and easily revert back to previous versions or split your tree and create a uh, child or break off part that may be slightly different, allowing you to create different options based on an original part design and allow you to go back or revert to any of the previous iterations almost instantly and very seamlessly built into the software. As far as usability, I've found it very easy to pick up. I've watched a few of Onshape's online courses and videos for training which are very well put together they're short and straight to the point very similar to my own channel with all of the videos i put out uh, which is why this is such a great fit now after learning and watching a few videos i was able to jump in and pretty quickly start making parts and assemblies within the software if you've used inventor before or even more so Fusion, I think you're going to feel comfortable and right at home almost instantly. A lot of the tools are very similar and the layout, although different, is similar enough that you're going to be able to jump in with very little learning curve. In fact, if you do use Inventor or Fusion, I have a feeling that Onshape may actually be a better fit in a lot of cases. I like the fact that you can keep your parts and assemblies all in the same file, as well as the built-in render studio, uh, all that is part of this browser-based software, which we'll demo in some of the next videos in the series. But as you can see, I'm also showing some of the 
interface and tools right now, which I find very easy to use and pick up. And they've worked really well, even on a smaller screen, say like a laptop. I haven't found too many issues where I'm needing more screen real estate since this software has been designed around being used in a browser, unlike a lot of other software that is based on a desktop install where you're likely going to have multiple monitors and sometimes that is necessary just due to the clutter of a lot of the toolbars and um, palettes and stuff that you need that take up a lot of that space. Being browser based and designed for the browser I've found that this is actually quite easy to use on a laptop spending most of my time so far using it on laptops. Now one more thing I wanted to touch on in this intro video to the series is the pricing and plans available for Onshape. Now, a lot of you, especially if you're like me, may be more of a hobbyist or a maker per se. Uh, so I mainly do my modeling and designs for fun to either use on a 3D printer or to help with friends projects, whatever the case may be. If you're using it non-commercially as a hobbyist or maker or something along those lines, it's completely free. They have the Onshape free version, which includes the modeling portion of the software, but you're going to be limited uh, for the data management and some of the collaboration, as well as you're not going to be able to use it for commercial projects. These files that you're creating and models are going to be shared and saved publicly on the Onshape cloud. So if you're looking to store things privately, you're gonna to want to upgrade to one of their other tiers, the standard plan, which is running around $1,500 a year or about $125 a month. It's going to give you the ability to use the software for commercial projects, as well as the private cloud storage and data management, as well as the collaboration features. This is going to be the most popular plan and at $125 a month for a commercial user, either freelancer, consultant, or a smaller business, that's definitely affordable for the power that this is bringing you and all of that added benefit of the file storage and iteration management as well. If you're using it in a larger group or you're looking at doing a ton of release management or more collaboration, you can move up to the professional plan, which comes in at $2,100 a year, which again isn't bad and pretty affordable for a full-scale commercial software, especially when you consider with either of these paid options that you do not need to maintain or purchase high-end modeling machines. A modeling laptop or desktop is easily going to be thousands of dollars, and that savings should be taken into account when you're looking at pricing for a browser-based or cloud-based software. If you're still on the fence about which version to get, Onshape has provided you, our CAD Intentions viewers, a free trial to the Onshape professional version using the link up above right now or down in the description below. I definitely recommend checking it out. You have nothing to lose. It's a free trial and that link will take you to the sign up form. So sticking with the cloud or browser based nature of the software, I also wanted to mention that because of this, you don't have a long install time or updates that are constantly needed to be set up, any of that kind of stuff. It's always up to date when you log in, you're getting the newest and best version of the software and you don't have an install time or setup. I found this really cool since I can grab a new laptop, say if I'm sent one to review and simply log in and start designing. This can be great for keeping your employees or designers up and designing rather than dealing with hardware and computer issues or getting installs for new employees simply give them a license and they can log in and start using and modeling right away. So I hope I answered some of your questions about what Onshape is and kind of what its benefits and features are, as well as touching on some of the pricing there. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this software and I think you should give it a shot, even just trying out that free version or getting a trial set up for one of the premium plans. I'd love to hear what you guys think and any questions you may have down in the comments. Make sure you leave them. 
I'm definitely going to be reading them and I'll incorporate them into the next videos. In the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best kind of tips and tricks as well as getting started in the software. We're going to demo some modeling as well as show you some quick uh, kind of shortcuts and tricks along the way. And then in the last video, we're going to be taking a look at the built-in render studio that Onshape has just released, which is really cool and is going to allow you to set up 3D modeling scenes with your parts and assemblies on the fly and in the browser. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to hear what you all thought. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see in the next one. Cheers and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.